Hello, welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today we're gonna have so much fun. We are going to be doing a craft that my five-year-old and three-year-old granddaughters helped me make up. <laughs> we decided we wanted to make some sort of a Father's Day gift and it was a Saturday. We wanted to come up with something fun that would be their idea. You're gonna see how we created a craft out of things we had around the house. So fast, so easy, and it was a lot of fun too. Let's have some fun. Okay, what do you have to do first? Peel the crust off. Okay. And what do you do with the crust? Was there you put it in the trash. You're not going to need the crust? Nope. All right, give it to me. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Oh, Lucy. And then... And then and then you have to pinch, pinch, pinch. No way. Because it has to be flat. Okay. Do you want to use a roller? Yes. Yes. Oh, we have to smush it. Yeah, you can smush it with the roller if you want, or your fingers. My fingers. Okay. Wait. Well, I'm going to make it into a bat now. Hmm, it's kind of hard. Why does it have to be hard? I thought clay was soft. We're just making it so that it's like a dough. But dough isn't hard. This dough is. We're going to roll. And then after, we're going to pinch it. Oh, see, that's. Oh. Does it need to be a little rolled out more? Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to pinch it. Turn it around the other way. No, me. Yeah, here. Thank you. Is it good enough? I'm done rolling. Okay, do you want to use your cup? Turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Push it down really hard and then pull the edges off. I can't push my hat. Dude, I can do it. Oh, oops. Push it down hard. Work. I'm putting the eyeballs on mine. And I'm pushing down the, mine and taking the crest off. This is really roundish. It is round, isn't it? It's doing good. Good job, Brielle. Okay, now what do you do next, Brielle? Now, I'm going to take out. How are you going to take out? Go ahead. Okay, then what are you going to do? Oh, uh, wrong way, Brielle. This way. Okay, and what are you going to do next? I'm going to put the eyeballs. Now I'm going to do Hey, how did you roll off? What are we going to do with those eyeballs so they don't roll off? Glue them. We're going to glue some antennas on. After the clay dries, we're going to put some glue for the antennas and for the eyeballs. I'm making the antennas. And what are you making ultimately when you get done with this? Ooh, I think ladybugs don't have to. Are you making a ladybug? We're, we're gonna let the dry and we'll see you in a little bit. Cause this is DIY is my happy place. As you can see, we're having too much fun. <laughs> Once you get your circles all made into shapes, go ahead and let them dry overnight. And then 
that it's time to paint. Now I did put some brown paper down on the table so no paint would get anywhere and we are using unicorn spit because it really spreads out pretty easily but you could use any kind of acrylic paint or whatever you happen to have I know they sometimes even carry acrylic paint at the Dollar Tree so it's just whatever kind you want to use now we specifically wanted to make ladybugs because this is something that their uncle loves and we were making one for an uncle for his birthday and one for their dad for Father's Day and one for their grandpa. <laughs> so we just, once we got on the idea of the ladybug, we went ahead and stuck with ladybugs, but you could do however you want. The thing that I love about this so much is they really came up with the idea on their own. I helped them figure out how we could make it. And then I'm letting them do as much of it as possible. There's a little bit of gluing at the end that I'll do with hot glue, but otherwise I'm letting them kind of just take the reins on this one and even little tiny three-year-old hands can do it and have fun being able to create something and all you have to do is just get red paint on both sides on all edges and once those are completely dry it is starting to come together as our little ladybug i was thinking this would be so cute as um even for little kids to do during a birthday party. I will say it's nice to have the little aprons. We picked those up from the Dollar Tree and we've used them so many times, but it does help to keep the paint off cute little kids' clothes. So I just let them get the, get the circles completely painted and then let those dry. Now, the circles that they made, they thought were going to be for eyes, but those are actually going to be the legs. The idea that my granddaughter had was to make a little tray to hold a ring, like your wedding ring at night. And she thought her dad would love it. And I agree. I think it's a splendid idea. So we're just going to get some paint on the little circles that we made, and we'll glue those to the bottom as little legs for this dish that will be be a ladybug dish to hold rings on and I think it'd be really cute for little girls too you could give little fun little pushable rings as a gift they could make the craft and then have this as a gift okay now Lucy did come back when I wasn't even watching and put little spots on for the ladybugs. <laughs> I would have videoed her, but she got it. She's just, she is such a little DIYer. I just absolutely love it. Okay, now I'm going to glue the legs on and I love using the Gorilla Glue. Um, not only the hot glue gun, but the hot glue. Now I don't use this kind of glue for everything that I hot glue, but it's a lot stronger. It's a little more expensive, but it's a lot stronger. So I will put a link for this in the description below because it is my favorite glue gun because it has such a fine tip and the hot glue, like I say, is pretty darn solid. Now this is a pretty fragile little dish, so it doesn't have to be, you know, E6000 or anything, but I'm just going to glue these on. As soon as my granddaughters get a little older, I might teach them how to use the glue gun, but not quite yet. This is going to be the part that you would need to help them with. Or you could use an E6000, some other kind of glue that's a little tricky to use, but it wouldn't burn their little fingers. After we got making this craft and it was the paint was drying, we knew we wanted to add some black spots for the ladybugs. But there was only one problem. My marker was all dried out and I didn't want to run to the store. So I tried this trick that I saw somebody do and I didn't know if it would really work. But basically what you do is you take a marker, you tie a string to the end of it like this. This is crazy. And then you just spin it in a circle and the centrifugal force of this, did I say that right? Centrifugal force will spin the whatever ink is left to the bottom of the marker and you'll get a few more days out of it. So that's exactly what we did and that's what you can do too when you want to elongate the life of a marker. <laughs> All right, back to our craft. 
Okay, back with my markers. You're gonna wanna have a black marker and a white marker for this next part. Now, this is pretty simple. Again, I would've had my granddaughters, but we didn't get it done before they had to leave. <laughs> so I'm finishing the last part, but again, this part could easily be done, be done with little toddlers. So I'm just doing a half circle right up through here in black and just fill it in. Now you can use one of the fine tip markers or a fat marker, whichever one you have handy. And again, this is another one of my markers. I re you know, <laughs> got the ink to the bottom so it would work again. So we're gonna do a half circle and then a triangle. And then it'll look like the wings are starting to lift on our cute little ladybugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on both and I really can't believe how fast and easy it really is. And it can turn out so cute. Now, the reason why I like these white markers and I got that from the Dollar Tree is it's a good way to make the eyes. Now, I will say you could use white paint here if you had it, but it's just so simple to do if you use the white marker. But just like my black marker, it stopped working. I've had it for a long time, so I had to shake it up too <laughs> to get some more ink to finish this project off so it could all be done on a fun Sunday afternoon. And then go ahead and let that white completely dry and then just add a dot in the center for the center of the eye to complete our ladybug look. Now, once this is done, you just get some sort of shellac or, you know, polyurethane or something and spray on it, or you could paint it on. And here's the crazy thing. I have made things with the bread dough like this before. And once you shellac it, it won't mold. It won't, I mean, it just doesn't touch the air. So it has a nice longevity. And of course, you know, when I say bread dough. It was actually just baked bread that was pinched. <laughs> and then you could just put your ring on it. Isn't that cute? And it's okay if it has little cracks and little imperfections because it is made by a toddler and that's what makes it so darling and wonderful. What'd you think? Isn't that fun? You could do it at a preschool. You could do it for a kindergarten class and it wouldn't have to be for Father's Day. It could be for Mother's Day. It could be any kind of a child's gift. I love it. And the fact that it might have some little imperfections in it is what makes it all the better. And if you really wanna make it their own, make sure you have them sign the back or draw a picture of themselves on the back. That's all there is to it. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, and just so you know, we are going to be doing a live this Thursday night at seven o'clock PM Central Time. So ring that bell to all so you can be notified when we go live. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna do 4th of July gnomes with curly, curly hair. I'm so excited for you to see it. So I'll see you again soon. See ya. See you on Wild My Happy Place.